What's up with it Raider Nation? It's your boy Raider Hancho and I'm back with a brand new video for you. Let's talk about the man, the defensive coordinator, the dude we brought in with the master plan to try to turn our awful defense from one of the worst to potentially one of the first. We'll see how it's going to play out. I'm excited for it. I know you're excited for it. So let's talk about the Gus Bradley effect. Now, when you talk about bad teams, when you talk about uh, teams making bad plays, you're talking about penalties, you're talking about just the way they carry themselves on the field, the want to, the, the, the know-how, um, the scheme, everything, it starts at the top, okay? Like, when I got involved in coaching, I started realizing that sometimes the players take so much direction from coaches, and I didn't realize that when I played. I thought I was just out there bowling and doing my thing because I was that guy, and I didn't realize that a lot of times, especially on the defensive side of the ball, you sometimes take the identity of your defensive coaches, whether it be your line Lineman coach, your linebacker coach, your uh, defensive backs coach, or sometimes just overall, it is the persona and the characteristics and personality of your defensive coordinator. If you got a defensive coordinator that's super boring and blase, blind, just goes through the motions, it's a good chance that his players at some point in time are just going to be blase, blind, go through the motions. So when you're talking about how important was it for us to change defensive coordinators, it was obvious, all right? We were never in position. We never seemed to know what we were doing. We didn't tackle well. We missed so many tackles we were terrible in coverage and I think that that comes from the top there's no way you're going to tell me that all these players in the NFL come out of college highly recruited highly scouted highly touted and then they just get on our team and all of a sudden they suck and they're terrible football players now sometimes players don't fit schemes sometimes schemes might be too hard for players to understand but it is up to the coaches to find a scheme that the players can run that schematically fits the makeup and identity of your team and in Paul Gunther I just felt like that, that when I see a coach and he's out of shape and he's looking sloppy and he got the Jerry Curl juice dripping from his head and he, he just looks under pressure, he looks tense, he, it's, it's, it, it was no surprise to me that our players played the way they played. It just wasn't a surprise to me because it comes from the top, right? So when you talk about bringing in Gus Bradley, now this is somebody to me that doesn't only just have credibility as a defensive coach, he's also a full-time head coach. Right? Like, he was a head coach. And I think when you're a head coach, you know how to run a team. You know how to run different personalities. A lot of times, if you're just a position coach, you're just like, okay, this is what our position needs. Intense, intense intensity. Uh, you need to have you need to have a funny guy. You need to have humor, uh, charisma. But when you're a head coach and you're a successful head coach, you usually have all of those characteristics. And I think Gus Bradley has that. And the Gus Bradley effect that I'm seeing to this point is just credibility. And... He comes in and, and you notice it when the players are doing press conferences, it seems like they have an all business approach. Like it's all business all the time. Like, like it's so much more serious. And I don't mean serious in the, in the sense of like, you're going to be on the field, and you're going to be super tense and, and super nervous to make mistakes. I'm not talking about that. It's just that we're here to do a job. And Gus Bradley was brought here to do a job. John Gruden was brought here to do a job. These players were brought in here to do a job. And it just feels like Gus Bradley has brought that business mentality to the Raiders organization. We know John Gruden is super intense. We know John Gruden is super feisty. He's fired up. He makes the faces, the whole Chucky persona. But sometimes what gets lost in there is that you are running a business. You are running a team. It's not just about being friends with players and having players like, like you. You have to get those players to follow you and you have to be able to lead those players. And I think Gus Bradley brings a sense of credibility because he doesn't care what your name is. He doesn't care the name on the jersey. He doesn't care what your number is. He doesn't care what your height is. He doesn't care what your weight is. He doesn't care how many followers you have or what your song sounds like. All he cares about is can he trust you in the back end of that defense, right? Can he trust you to be a linebacker, be able to coverage, run, uh, cover running backs out of the backfield? Can he trust you to be on the D-line and be able to get to the quarterback and not put so much pressure on our secondary. And I think that in camp, you're having to show those things. You're having to prove to him that he can trust you. And that's something that I feel like we weren't having before. Sometimes we're just playing guys because of his name or where we drafted him or, or how old he is. And, and right now, I feel like that doesn't matter. You can watch all these players that come in and talk about stuff on the field. Take Jonathan Abram, for instance. This guy used to be a clown act, uh, like a guy that's just running around, going super crazy, funny guy. Just so much of his character was coming out personality coming out in like the sense of humor trying to be the class clown and now it's like 
Bro is serious. Bro is locked in. Bro is laser focused. When you look at the Trayvon Merrick's come in, like, these guys are super mature, super focused, and I think that is a reflection of their defensive coach and a, and a reflection of where we're going with this organization. And, like, can Gus Bradley take us from being the 30th ranked defense to the top five defense? I don't know. I don't know, but what he's going to do is, is take boys and turn them into men, and sometimes that's what you need from your coach. It's not all about the X's and O's. Sometimes it's about the Joes, okay? And, like, we got to turn our guys into respectable, mature people to be able to conduct themselves on the field the way we need them to. Like, immaturity is going to get you penalties late in the game. Immaturity is going to make you stay on the field on third down and not be able to execute the, the game plan and the scheme that your coaches need you to go and, and do. So I think that having somebody in here that, that gets respect as a head coach, that has respect as a defensive coordinator, that has respect as a position coach, somebody who's had to earn it coming out of a small, uh, small school. I think John Gruden actually hired him in Tampa Bay when nobody knew who he was. Obviously, we've seen what he's done um, with the Legion of Boom. We've seen what he's done with San Diego, uh, formerly San Diego over there with the Chargers. So I think that the Gus Bradley effect is that now we have an all-business approach to not just our defense, but to our team. And I think that's something we desperately needed. And get down in the comments. Let me know what you think. And if you like this video, like the video. If you like the content on the channel, please subscribe to the channel. Check me out on Instagram and Twitter. Both are at Raider Honcho. Check RaiderHoncho.com. Don't forget, man, this fall we're coming with the pregame show. Every pregame, catch Raider Honch, man, right here on YouTube. We'll be changing from my channel to his channel, so make sure y'all go support that. If you haven't already subbed the Raider Tape, man, go check his channel. He got a lot of dope stuff on there. So, the Gus Bradley effect is that, man, we official now. We a real team now. We're not just a bunch of guys out there with some fly jerseys and, and fly hair and cool numbers and all the swag with the wristbands and the gloves, but damn, ain't worth a damn. We all had to play some football now. I'm excited to see it. Get down in the comments. Let me know what y'all think. And until the next time, Raider Honcho out.